The Northern Qi is a country in northern and southern dynasties. Bei Wei, Northern Wei, is the first country in northern dynasty. It existed about a hundred fifty years, then splits into Dong Wei, Eastern Wei, and Xi Wei, Western Wei. Northern Qi's actual founding emperor Gao Huan was a very powerful government officer of Eastern Wei. Northern Qi was formally founded by Gao Huan's son Gao Yang in 550. Northern Qi only existed for 27 years, but had six emperors. At the beginning, Northern Qi was stronger than the Northern Zhou, but because of the horrible management of the emperors, Northern Qi was conquered by Northern Zhou in 577. Northern Qi was considered as the most wild dynasty in ancient Chinese history. If a director makes a movie following Northern Qi's real history, this movie will be rated as NC-17. When I read the history of Northern Qi, I feel what such a miracle that this dynasty can exist for 27 years. Then I realize all crazy things the Northern Qi emperors do are limited in upper class. They hurt the upper class people very much, but don't Public publish many evil policies to regular people. So after Northern Qi was conquered, the society can quickly come back to normal. Gao Huan was the actual founding emperor of Northern Qi. He was the most powerful government officer in Eastern Wei. He and his wife Lou Zhao Jun had six sons. One was posthumously promoted to the emperor. Three became the real emperor. After Gao Huan passed away, his powers were inherited by his oldest son, Gao Cheng. Gao Cheng was murdered by his cook, so Gao Cheng's powers were inherited by his little brother, Gao Yang, who formally founded the Northern Qi. Gao Yang's run was passed to his 15 years old son, Gao Yin. One year later, Gao Yang's little brother, Gao Yan, rebelled and succeeded. So Gao Yan became the third emperor of Northern Qi. When Gao Yan was seriously sick, his crown prince was only six years old. He worried his little brother Gao Zhan rebelled in future and killed the crown prince. So he passed the throne to Gao Zhan and begged Gao Zhan to keep crown prince's life. Gao Zhan got his brother's throne, but killed his brother's son. Gao Zhan only worked as the emperor for four years, then passed the throne to his son Gao Wei. In 577, Northern Zhou attacked Northern Qi. Gao Wei didn't want to be the last emperor, so he passed the throne to his eight years old son Gao Heng. In the same year, Northern Qi Ended. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.